Hey, hey, what's going on, YouTubers? Texas Triple Tapper here. Gonna show you guys today how to replace uh, the uh, Febco uh, backflow uh, little kit um, on a uh, sprinkler system. That would be this kind of area right here. Um, this unit is kind of designed to prevent damage to the, the actual housing of your uh, sprinkler system uh, if you if you have one um, I'm down here in good old Houston Texas patron state of shooting stuff uh, we don't get too much freezing down here but apparently this winter either uh, it froze and I didn't know about it or uh, it, it just the, the piece is just old they're not that well made and from what I understand and the research I've been doing um, these parts fail pretty frequently um, so what I have done here, what, what actually, let me back up. What happened was when I went to turn on my sprinkler system to get to use it, um, uh, I turned it on in the water. It just literally blew up here like a like a geyser. Let me show you the the old parts here. Got them on my garbage can. This is the old uh, poppet, um, and this is the old uh, top piece. This brass piece right here is kind of the bell, and what they sent. I've already opened it and got some of it, but here's here's what they send you. They send you some uh, some food grade uh, grease to, to create a tight seal, and then you've got this little housing piece. And this is the uh, you can see the little black O-ring, and that's where I'm going to put uh, the grease on. And this is a a new nut. It's an 11 millimeter. The only tools that I have out here, I have an 11 millimeter. Whoops, I have an 11 millimeter wrench, and then just a screwdriver just in case if I need to kind of pry any of this other stuff out here, we'll try to look down in there. This should just be on kind of hand tight. There we go. So this just kind of screws off like so. Um, and you see there's the old O-ring. I don't know if you can see it, the lighting out here, it's kind of bright, but there's some crusty on the threads and on the, uh, on the old O-ring. Um, also there's a piece down in here that just this just it's just shattered it just broke whenever that pressure went up and this thing couldn't couldn't hold it here's the uh, kind of other side of the piece this little this is the poppet and then this top part here is the bonnet and as you can see that's where let's come back here this look these this sat inside of it somehow and you can see the different uh, broken pieces so um, first thing was first I guess I forgot to mention what you want to do is make sure that the water supply is turned off here um, so if it's perpendicular water's off and if it's parallel water's on so now what I'm what we're gonna do is uh, uh, put some of this grease on this o-ring here and i'm gonna screw this piece down i'm gonna go ahead and pause it just to put the grease on all right guys got the grease on there as you can see put it on pretty liberally um, also before we start you want to check and see if there's anything in there that shouldn't be like any more of those broken pieces there's a little bit of cobweb in there i'll just fish that out with my fingers and before we put that in there we want to take our new bonnet, I'm sorry, pop it, and just kind of drop drop it down in there. And these two pieces will kind of they'll kind of marry and this should just screw on just like we took it off. Sorry for the camera angles. I'm doing this one-handed and of course as I'm trying to make a video, the damn garbage truck is picking up garbage. And this just needs to go on just a little bit hand tight, nothing too, too crazy. There we go. Now, what we want to do is remove this, this nut and this old piece right here and then it'll just sit down on top of that that old one or the new one I'm sorry I'm gonna go ahead and pause it and do that now with this uh, 11 millimeter wrench here all right guys got that off this is the old bolt this is the new bolt got that part out 
now what we're gonna do is we're gonna slowly turn this water back on. It is gonna shoot up some, but it should stop once this piece here and the popping inside have had a chance to kind of marry and uh, make us make us a tight seal. So I'm gonna try to do this slowly without soaking myself and the camera. This is kind of being difficult. Oops, come on, there we go. Okay, so the top part's not spraying out, but this is, so. That's all we do for that. And I should have I should have done that in the first place, so lesson learned. <laughs> These are the same thing. If they're perpendicular, they're off. Parallel, they're on. So I'm gonna turn this on full steam. Let that go. And then now, all we do is put this little bell housing on here and just snug it down so that this, this bell doesn't move really anywhere. And that's pretty much all there is to it, guys. Um, like I said, this happened over the winter. And when I came back in the spring to turn on the uh, sprinkler system, this thing, this, this whole assembly here just, just blew up. I was like, what the hell? It's like I had my own little geyser in my backyard here. And that should be about good. All right, guys, um, last but not least, I, I got this assembly piece from uh, Amazon. It was like 35 bucks, including shipping. So, you know, not, not super expensive. Hell of a lot cheaper than calling a plumber out and having them mess with it. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Again, I apologize for the, for the lighting. But uh, until next time, Texas Triple Tapper, out.